Hi Facebook, Steve Woody here for Midday Mastery, episode number 26. And today I'm going to be talking to you about online systems and what systems you should be using within your business. And there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. But first of all, this is the second time I've recorded this. The first time Facebook decided it was going to stop working. So can you just let me know if you can see this all right? Just type me a comment in below or just say hi. Um, just so that I know this is working. But basically, guys, a uh, really, really important one today. And let me just give you an example. If you're not feeling very well when you go to a doctor's uh, and you tell them that you're not feeling very well, they're going to prescribe you with something because that's what doctors do. You go to a surgeon, they're going to cut you open because that's what surgeons do. You go to a holistic practitioner and they're going to tell you to hug a tree because that's what they do. The reality is that unless you know like what you need, you, there's no right or wrong answer. There's just different things. Now, if you know you need surgery, hugging a tree is not going to help you, right? But this is what happens in online business all the time. We're taking advice from people who are saying, well, I understand this. This is my model of the world. This is what I do. And so as a result, you should use this. And so people are recommending systems that aren't necessarily going to be right for your business. It's just what people know and understand. And so it's really important that you get an idea of what systems you're using, what works, and what you need that's based on what you need and not what other people recommend. Now, the best way to understand this is obviously to look at what you're doing and why you're doing it. Okay? Too many people I know are trying to put a square peg in a round hole. And they're saying, okay, I'm going to build my business based around the systems that I've got available for me. And it doesn't have to be overcomplicated, but at the same time, you've got to look at what you're doing and why you're doing it. So here's, here's the point I want to make about this, and it's really, really simple. Whenever you're starting, whatever it is that you're doing, hi guys, by the way, hi, thanks for tuning in. Whatever you're doing when you're starting out in business, too many people go, I need a website. And they jump to the idea that, oh, I need to get a website. And they look and they say, what website do I need? Okay, I, I, I've got an idea for a business. I need a website. Um, okay, what platforms are there? Okay, who knows how to build a website? Do I know any website? And they say, yeah, you should use Wix and WordPress, WordPress and Squarespace and Weebly or ClickFunnels or Leave. And you get thrown and all of a sudden you're like, holy shit, there's all these options. The reality is that you shouldn't be using any of them if you are not ready. And the best way to know if you're ready or not is you need to understand before you even think about systems, before you even look at what systems you need, you need to understand what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Who are you doing it for? Is it viable? Like, is it a legitimate like, business? Then once you've got those things and you've got like a minimum viable product and you've got something to put out to the world, then you can look at building up the systems and what you can do to deliver that. So the idea of like, there's two things that I specialize in. Whenever I'm working with my clients, I only ever focus on two key areas. That's how to get traffic into the business and how to convert that traffic into customers. So traffic and conversions. Now, the way that I do that, especially the conversion part, based on two parts again, it's the customer journey. The user experience, the journey that people go through from when they find out about you online until they become a customer and then on. The other side of it, as well as the customer, uh, the customer journey, the UX, is about the systems you put in place. How can you leverage your time? Because at the end of the day, people want more money and they want more time. Simple, right? It's human psychology. So if you can create more money and more time, you're onto a winner. Well, we can't create more time, so to speak, but what we can do is utilize systems that leverage our time. So rather than me sending emails individually to each individual person I need to speak to, I can set up autoresponders, I can set up nurture sequence. Rather than jumping on a call with like 100 people for discovery sessions, I can pre-qualify people for a questionnaire. So I have systems that help me to be able to run my business. On the other side of things, I've got systems that check out. I've got systems where you can purchase. There are other systems in place that deliver the products and services. I've got calendars that people can book. So everything's in place to assist and to help me, to allow me to work on the business better. And then on the other side of things, once you've looked at the, the systems, it's the customer journey. Where do people need to go from when they find out about me to when they get involved in the business to when they become a customer to uh, the nurture process? Stuart, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. From Kingston, New York. What's the weather like over there? Still snowing? Or you, uh, you got a bit of sunshine now, mate? Um, basically, the point I'm trying to make here is that too many people dive into using the wrong systems in their business. And I had a conversation yesterday, and I even mentioned this on yesterday's Midday Mastery. This lady came to me and she was like, I need a website. And I sent her away and said, you don't need a website. Like, there are systems out like that. If you're setting up your first ever event, you haven't got an event yet, then you don't need a website to promote your event. You can use Eventbrite, you can use Meetup. You know, there's systems you can use to test your event to make sure it works. Sorry, the screen's gone off. 
And so really what you need to look at is what systems are going to get you to where you need to be. Like there's no point, and this is this is the point, this is the reason I'm making this, this point today, is that too many people they jump on a system, they get involved in a system, and then they spend so much of their time fixing or editing or tweaking or try, trying to do something with that system. Like I can't tell you how many people, this is a common question, this comes up all the time. What host should I use for my website? Where should I host my website? And then you'll get a long list of all of these things like you should host here, you should host here, these, these are good hosts, these are good hosts. And the problem with that is that nobody knows what you need. Like if you're going to host a website, you need to start asking some very specific questions around your business. For example, how much traffic is your business going to get? How much traffic do you expect on your website? And don't just say lots, that's a shit answer. You need to know, how, you, need to, you need to put factual numbers, you know, zero. A thousand people, two thousand people, ten thousand people a month. You need to understand that. How much storage space do I need on my website? When I'm putting information on a website, where's it going to be retrieved from? Like, is, is there going to be a lot of videos on there? Is there going to be a lot of audio or files on there? Do people need to retrieve them quickly? Do I need to use like a centralized system? How many people are going to be on my website at once? Are you going to be hosting webinars? If you host a webinar, and at the end of the webinar, let's say you've got 100 people on a webinar, and 100 people at once hit your website, can your website handle 100 concurrent users? Most people out there have never experienced that. And yet, we can talk about websites that get two, three, four, five, ten thousand 10,000 at one time. So if you're planning to scale, which I'm assuming for most people there is a level of scale, you're starting up and you know, getting to a place where you want to be, what does that look like? And what's it? there's no point going out and spending £5,000 a month on hosting if you're only ever going to be marketing to the people in your local area. You know, if you've got a local business and you're marketing to local people, you don't need global systems that are going to support you. You know, if you're based in London then you, and you're not even interested in America, then you don't need your, your network, you know, to be accessible within America. You just need to understand what's right for you. So the reason I say that is I know too many people choose the wrong systems. They'll look at a list of all these hosts and they'll go, oh, I'm going to pick that one. And they'll take a host and they'll use it because someone's recommended it. It's not right for their business. And then they're like, I can't access this. I can't do that. I can't install an SSL. I can't get cPanel. I can't do FTP. My HT access file's not working. This isn't working. It didn't back up. My site's slow. It's crashed. I've got a virus. All of a sudden, you've now become a fucking technician and you're dealing with either support networks back and forth or you're dealing with learning how to use YouTube videos to do what you need to do. And all of that time that you were trying to free up in your business, you're now using in a different area of your business. You're fighting fires that, you, that should have never been there in the first place. Does that make sense? So the idea is to take a step back and say, what systems do I need? Now, for many of you, you probably already have systems in place. I had a client call yesterday and he was using two different systems and I was like, would you consider using one system or do you want to use the boat too? And he's like, we're using this, we've been using it for a year and I was like, great, you've got a system, it works. Why do I want to go in and change what's already working? There's no point. Now I'm not going to go in and learn a new system because I don't want to, but that's fine. That means that you've got your system, that works, you've got your team, we need to work out a way that you can do the things you need to do. That's fine because that's how that works, right? That's how that model works. Like there are so many systems out there. I can't possibly learn everything. I can't be an expert in everything. I, that's one of the biggest lessons I've had to learn. I wanted to be an expert online. It, it comes down to even with programming language. You know, I learned HTML, then I needed to learn PHP, then I needed to learn CHS, uh, CSS, then I needed to learn JavaScript. Then I, it's like it just goes on and on and on and there's other different things that you can learn and it's you know, by the time you've learned it, like PHP 5, PHP 6, PHP 7, CSS 2, CSS 3, there's like things change and you have to keep educating yourself. So you have to have a real passion for what you're doing. If that's what you, you can get by with a basic bit of understanding, a basic bit of knowledge. But when you start looking at systems, you know, for webinars, what if you're going to do webinars, what webinar software are you going to use? Are you going to use Google Hangouts? Are you going to use a different system? Like what, what are you going to use? Are you going to use YouTube Live? How are you going to record your content? Are you going to do it on Facebook, YouTube? Are you going to be more on Instagram? You know, what, how are you going to promote yourself? And then what systems are you going to use on the back end? Are you going to use Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, WordPress, ClickFunnels? Once you've got your website built, are you going to take bookings? If so, are you going to use Calendly? Are you going to use Acuity? Are you going to take payments? Are you going to use Shopify? Are you going to use WordPress? Like you need to start understanding and there's so many systems out there. This is so overwhelming. There's so many. I haven't got a clue about half of it. 
every single day, every single day I have an email, I have a new system, would like you to beta test this, would like you to work on this, can I give you access to this, here's a new plugin, here's a new theme, here's something to play with. Because people are trying to create, I've got a new solution, I've got a new solution, and it's great, but it comes a point when you have to say, whoa, 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 whoa. actually, what do I need? Like, what, do I, what does my business actually need to run? And how can I get my business to run as lean and effectively as possible while still giving all of the functionality and all of the things that I need? So the question is, before you go out and buy a plugin, before you go out and buy a theme, before you go out and buy another SaaS product that you probably don't need, ask yourself the question, is this absolutely necessary? Is this a core element? Is this mission critical for my business? If not, don't buy it. If it is, then ask yourself, is it the whole thing I need or is it just a small part? There is no point taking a tank into a knife fight. If you only need one line of script, there's no point spending $99 a month on a complete plugin that's gonna you know, do all of this additional stuff when you only need it to do one thing. And I'll give you an example because I used to do this. When I was using Infusionsoft as my CRM system, I needed a way to do thank you page control. WordPress is pretty crap at doing thank you page. So when someone purchases a product, the thank you page that you send them to. Now there's a few plugins out there, but most of them just not that good. The best one I was actually introduced to was by uh, Chris Lima, uh, told me about one which I'm using now, which is really good, and I'll find a link and I'll, I'll bang that in the description. But I was using one called Infused Woo, and it worked with Infusionsoft, and it, it, whenever someone checked out whatever product they ordered, it would send them to the right thank you page. Now, I wasn't using anything else in that plugin. So that was a plugin that cost like $100 that I, I put on the site that had all this additional functionality and the only part of it I was using was the bit to send people to a custom thank you page. So you need to ask yourself, like, is this something you can do yourself? Can you hire someone cheap to do it for you? Do you need all the additional things that come with it? And also, are you just getting caught up in things for no reason? Like, again, I was talking to, talking to another uh, potential client yesterday, and they were talking about, oh, I want to use this system, I want to use this system, I want to use this system. And I was like, that's great, but like, what do you need? And they were like, oh, actually, what I need is here, but I like the idea of this, 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 and this. And it's like, well, that's such a fucking distraction from what you need. Like, leave all that. Just look at this one thing. If all you need is this one thing, then what if you focused on that? They're like, oh, well, I only need to do this, and if I do this, I'll do that. And I'm like, well, do, and they were like, oh, my God, I... I was so distracted looking at all this, I didn't even think. And, and actually, they already had what they needed. Robert, I'm doing well, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. So yeah, basically, the point I'm trying to make today and the thing I'm trying to get across to you is that you need to have a look at your systems. Maybe it's a time to check in and to look at what systems you need, what systems you've got. The systems you've got, do you really need them? Are you using like, let, have a, let's have a spring clean. Let's like, you know, we're coming out of winter now. Coming into spring, it's time we had a spring clean. Let's look at like Spotify, Netflix, you know, all of the SaaS products that you've got in your personal life and in your business life. Where are you spending money? Get an Excel sheet and just put income, outcome, and then in the expenses, oh sorry, put date money goes out and how much. Write down every single thing you're paying for on a monthly basis from Netflix to Spotify all the way through in your personal life and in your business life. You'd be scared to see just how much you spend on crap you probably don't even need. Memberships for things you probably didn't even realize you had. Like I do it all the time, like I pay for like deposit photos and iStock and I pay for this and that and there's like memberships for things all over the place. That's how I managed to get my budget from 6,000 down to 900 a month was purely because I shaved off all the things that I didn't need to spend money on. I mean, getting rid of the house helped obviously, but in terms of the business, I was spending so much money I didn't need to. Like my systems now, they're quite, they're quite lean. I would say it cost me to run my business in terms of my online systems. I'm probably spending in the region of about 250, 300, about three. I'm probably spending in my own business about 250 pounds a month. That's what it cost me to run my business. Now, in terms of like the hosting, I'm spending a lot more than that, but then I've got client sites that I host. So you need to understand what systems you're using, how they benefit you, whether you're actually using them or not, and then look at what you need. Are you gonna do webinars? Are you gonna to need to take bookings? Do you need a contact form? You know, do you need e-commerce? Do you need an SSL certificate? Like, what are the important things to you in terms of on your website? What do you need? And then how can you implement them? What strategies can you put in place to make sure that you've got the right systems doing the right things for you? Today is just really an awareness of systems. That's all I wanna do is give you this awareness 
Um, pretty much everyone knows what systems I use. My shopping list for most websites is I use WordPress, WordPress.org. I use the X theme. I use WooCommerce. I use Gravity Forms. I use WP Fusion. That all of that is linked into. I have um, Woo bookings, uh, or Woo, Woo appointments, which I use for my bookings, and then I use um, Active Campaign for my CRM. That's pretty much the encompassing system that I use, and that is what I put out most of my clients use because it's a system that works. So I just use the same system over and over again because it works, and so there's no point. Like I could, I could learn all the different themes. I could learn all the different plugins. I could learn all. The, what's the point? There are other people out there. That, I don't need the whole market to myself. I just need a little crumb. I just need the people that are like, do you know what? I don't really give a shit what system I'm using. As long as it works, as long as I know how to use it, and as long as I can put my products and services out there and I can reach more people, that's what people really need and really want. People get too caught up in the minute details and the day-to-day -day fiddling with things. You don't need to. It's a distraction. So, what systems are you using? Do you need the systems that you've got? Can you do something without the entire process like, or the system that you've got in place for it, and then write down a list of all the systems, how much they cost, when they go out. Be good just for the awareness, spend some time and think about that. Have an amazing day, I'll speak to you tomorrow. If anyone you know needs to have a look at this, please put their name, uh, tag them below, uh, I'll be really grateful for that. Uh, otherwise, I will see you at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, I've got some exciting things I want to start going through with you. In fact, I've got a couple of announcements which I'm going to make next week. Things are going to be exciting. I'm going to change this up a little bit. We're going to swap it about. Some stuff that's going to be happening. And so I really want to get your feedback. Do me a favour. If you're on this now, let me know in the comments below. What do you want me to talk about? Because I can keep talking about things, but I'd much rather them be relevant to you. I'm going to start doing some really focused um, marketing pieces. I'm going to talk about sales funnels, traffic, and things like that. But they're going to be very, very specific. And I'm going to go through the business building process. But in terms of like these Facebook Lives and just talking about things, I really want to know what you want me to talk about. Like, what are things that you're struggling with at the moment? Questions? LMS. Perfect. Then tomorrow, let's do this. Tomorrow, I will do the Facebook Live at 12 o'clock all around learning management systems. And we'll talk about all the different types of learning management systems, do's and don'ts, things you need, things to consider. We'll go through that whole thing tomorrow. How's that? Anything else you want me to talk about, put it in the comments below. Anything you want me to cover, anything you want to talk, any questions, any problems, any ideas, any concepts, anything at all, put it in the comments below and I'll make sure we get it scheduled in over the next week or so so I'm actually giving you stuff that's relevant. Have an amazing day. I'll speak to you all soon. Dylan, take care, brother. Speak to you all later.